Hey guys, Marcus here. So today I'll just be making part 2 of my C Sharp Red series. In the last episode we got some of the basics down such as the connection and some basic commands. So if you haven't watched that already, it is definitely recommended you go do that before watching this one. Link in the description by the way. As it will give you a much better understanding of what is really going on. And in this episode, I will really just be developing the design a bit to make it compatible with stuff such as multiple clients and more organized commands and execution. Anyway, enough of me talking, let's begin. Okay, so first of all, let's just go into Visual Studio and like this is the uh, this is the UI that we left off with. It's it's not very good and um, and it could definitely have, um, get some improvement. So that's really what we're gonna do today because I'm lazy as fuck and uh, yeah so first of all I'm just gonna remove this button because we won't really need that anymore. And uh, and the first thing that I'll do is that I will add a uh, a data grid, data grid view that is, but you know, which if we just um, add a column here real quick, test, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, like test two or something, just close that down, there you see, the, 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 now you'll see that you, we can like have these different um, uh, things here. So like, imagine like having, having like the IP here, the port here and like some other um, version like along this line depending on what you want. That's like kind of what we're gonna go for with this and we're just gonna call this client, uh, clients view. Okay, um, and I'm gonna just remove these columns for now since they are pretty irrelevant. And now the next thing that we're going to want to do is that uh, we're going to want a context menu strip. Now if you don't know what this is, it's quite basically a thing where uh, you can like just right click on a control that you put that context menu strip on and it'll show. And you can like, um, okay so if I have like option 1 and option 2. And now let me just go ahead and... Uh, and add that as a uh, as a context menu if I can find it. There you go. We just add that. Now, if we start up the server, as you can see, like if we, you, you can see that we have these different options, right? So that's that's kind of like what we're trying to go for that and go for with that. And um, this first thing here, I'm just gonna do show message box, yeah. And uh, and now in here, we're basically gonna have like the the information that we need. So I am going to so to make a text box. Well, the default text is just going to be um, text, and uh, the next text box is going to be okay, title, and then we'll have a, a little separator here, and we'll just add a button which will like just be called send. Uh, now, what this basically allows us to do is that we can have this message box here, right? So like, if you click on it, this thing will pop out where you can uh, change the text and title and then you can send it. So that's that's pretty useful if I should say so myself. And the next one would probably be our system. Where we are going to have some stuff here. So this is going to be like shut down and restart you know like some some pretty basic uh, os stuff you know and uh yes yeah, so like that that's that's just what we're gonna have there for now and uh, and the next thing is filling out uh well is is adding columns basically so let me just find the uh the collection was down here jesus okay so I just call this like uh ip call which stands for column and this will just like be ip really uh, and we'll have this as a read-only field because like you can't really like Just change a person's IP, you know And uh, the next one is going to be the um, the port I'm just gonna call this port column And then just port down here Just gonna add that And uh, now what would we maybe like to do? Uh Maybe like a uh, 64 bit call, which is basically like just gonna be checking if, uh, why is it mad? Oh yeah, okay, we're just gonna call it bit call. Bit, co uh, bit connect, okay. Um, and then we're just gonna call that uh, bits. 
and like what this is basically going to be is that like it, like um you might have some uh, some exploit that you want to execute on the target's machine but it only runs on 64-bit machines and so you want to like check if it's a 64-bit uh, computer and that's that's kind of like why you uh, want this and now do I have anything else oh yeah we might as well just do win the call sends for Windows version column and we'll just call this Windows version which is also actually really fucking easy to get to be honest so that's that's gonna be quite easy and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it for now and uh, as you can see we have these things here so uh, I do have something that I kind of want to do but I'm, like sh but I'm not sure if I can do it Nah, I don't think I can, but, you know, this is, like, basically it. Uh, actually, we might want to make this Windows, versions, uh, Windows version thing a little bit longer, since, well, first of all, Windows versions are quite long in the name, and, and like, just with the word Windows version, if we don't want the, this, like, name thing here to be extremely fucking, like, uh, big in height, then, like, we might as well just extend it, you know, so... That's that, and I know that this thing, uh, it, it kind of looks a bit ugly, but it, you, you, you would be able to fix it, and we're just going to call this uh, Client Options, right, just to make it a little bit of a, of a better name. I mean, all I really have left to do, I think, is just like adding a, the, uh, the, the red tab here, where for now we're just going to have like... Uh, restart connection which would like be good for if um if you're like having some very a very bad connection with the client or the client just isn't connected at all then you just re uh, restart it and boom you'll have the clients you know so yeah we could just like change some uh, some variables around like remove this just calling this like ra uh, rat tutorial yeah you can of course name it whatever you want it doesn't really matter so I hope you guys did find this useful or at least enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you drop a like or maybe even subscribe for more. Peace. I've been staying up long nights. Everything I do, I swear I do a million times. I won't fucking stop until it all sounds right. My ethic back to